Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Nagaland State BJP endorses passage of agriculture bills. NPF says Nagaland Loka Yukta's report shows poor state of affairs in the entire government machinery. Nagaland government nominates Rovila Domo as member of Delimitation Commission in respect to Nagaland State. And Nagaland reports 93 fresh cases of COVID-19 and 223 recoveries. The BJP in Nagaland has welcomed the passage of agriculture bills such as the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2020, the Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement of Price Assurance and Firm Services Bill 2020 and the Essential Commodities Amendment Bill 2020 by the Parliament. Addressing media persons in Kohima today, State BJP President and Minister Demjin Imna Long said the State BJP endorsed the bills in total and congratulated Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister Narendra Singh Tomar for successfully envisioning the future strength of the country in the sector of farming and farmers. Terming the bills as historic, Along said the bills are pertinent to the success of the farming community, the country, especially during the pandemic and post-pandemic. He said the bills are meant to protect the interest of the farmers as it gives access to the farmers to sell the produce through other means rather than the mandis. He also said the bill provides increased price to farmers of their produce by reducing transport costs and taxes as well as create more convenient system via e-trading system. The minister said the bills will enable investment on agri sector and enhance better infrastructure. On being asked how the bills will impact our state, the minister opined that for a small state like Nagaland, it should envision production of more cash crops and get market connectivity. To get the full benefits of the bills, Along said, farmers in our state need to be educated on the policies of the central government as well as the state and start forming clusters. The Naga People's Front NPF said it is appalled over the callous and indifferent attitude displayed by Chief Minister Nipirio in the matter of Naglin Lokayukta investigation into the Deputy Chief Minister Wai Button's infamous remark, complaint case, filed by a concerned youth. NPF, through its press bureau, said the Lokayukta's 31-page report issued on Friday last clearly reflects the poor state of affairs in the entire government machinery. It alleged that BDA government of Nagaland had in August 2020 made a futile attempt to oust the Nagaland Lokayukta from his office before he could make these skating observations in his judgment on the deputy CM case. NPF further said the recommendation of the Lokayukta against the Advocate General of Nagaland, K. N. Bal Kopal, in the AG is a poor reflection of the image of the BDA. It may be mentioned that the Lokayukta, in the same order, dismissed corruption charges against Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button on the ground that it is devoid of substance and absence of any prima facie evidence. NBF reiterated that if the BDA government could not fulfill the aspirations of the people, should step down on moral ground and pave the way for an alternate government for the betterment of the Naga society. Nagaland government has nominated Rovilato Mo as member of the Delimitation Commission in respect to Nagaland State. The government issued a notification in this regard in supersession of its earlier order issued in June 2020. It said Rovilato Mo will act as member of the Delimitation Commission with effect from the date of notification till the process of delimitation in respect of Nagaland State is completed. 93 fresh cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Nagaland today. State Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangyu in a tweet said that out of 816 results received today, 77 have tested positive for COVID-19 in Dimapu, 13 in Kohima and one each in Twensang, Longleng and Peck. The minister also informed that 223 COVID-19 patients have recovered today. 138 from Kohima and 85 from Dimapu, taking the total recoveries to 4,451. The total confirmed cases in the state stands at 5,544, out of which 1,054 are active.
Prime Minister Narendra Modi today laid the foundation stone of nine highway projects worth 14,258 crore rupees in Bihar through video conferencing. These highway projects include a road length of about 350 kilometers. The Prime Minister also inaugurated the optical fiber internet services where all the 45,945 villages of Bihar have been connected through optical fiber internet service. Speaking on the occasion, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said nine highways in Bihar will enhance better connectivity, convenience and economic growth in and around the state. Modi said movement of people and goods will also improve substantially. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. India has occupied a top position in the world in terms of total recoveries of COVID patients. The health ministry said India's recoveries constitute 19% of the total global recoveries. It said more than 43 lakhs, 96,000 COVID patients have recovered till date. The total global recoveries of the USA is 18.70%, Brazil 16.90% and Russia is 4%. The ministry said that the country's recovery rate among the COVID-19 patients has reached to 80.12%. During the last 24 hours, more than 93,000 COVID patients have recovered. The actual caseload of the country currently comprises only 18.28% of the total positive cases. India's COVID-19 daily has crossed 54 lakhs. Presently, the total number of active cases in the country is over 10 lakh. Currently, India's case fatal rate is at 1.60%, which is one of the lowest globally. Naga Women Hoho Dimapu, Dimapu Urban Council Chairman Federation and GB's Sadar Union under the banner of Naga Council Dimapu, NCT, has extended support to the student body's demand to revoke COVID-19 cess on petrol and diesel. The organizations in a joint press statement said COVID-19 cess on petrol and diesel by the state government has unjustifiably increased the prices of every item across the state. The organizations demanded immediate abrogation of COVID-19 cess in the state. The Eastern Naga Students Federation, ENSF, has rejected the Nagaland Staff Selection Board, NSSP, in its present form and demanded that their charter of demand be incorporated in the NSSP. ENSF, in a letter addressed to the Chief Minister, listed a six-point charter of demand. The charter of demand stated that a post of NSSP chairman and two members should be on rotational basis amongst the recognized tribes of Nagaland. ENSF demanded that 45% post should be exclusively earmarked for six tribes of Eastern Nagas for 20 years, after which it may be reviewed. It said preliminary and written exam for Group C post should also be brought under NSSP and practical and interview conducted by respective departments. It said preliminary and written exam for recruitment of constable, warder in the police, prisons, Nagaland Lokayukta, NPTO, Home Guards, Fire and Emergency Services, Excise and Forest Guards should also come under NSSP. ENSF said examination centres for preliminary and written exams should be in all the district headquarters. Further, ENSF demanded penalty provision for defaulters who failed to recommend Group C vacancy post to NSSP. A total of 2,120 people from Pakistan have been granted Indian citizenship in the last three and a half years. This was stated by Minister of State for Home Affairs, Niti Anand Rai, in the Rajya Sabha today. The minister informed that a total number of 2,729 people from 44 countries have been granted Indian citizenship during the period of 2017 to 17 September of this year. He said after Pakistan, 188 people from Afghanistan and 99 from Bangladesh have been granted Indian citizenship. Rai informed that maximum 385 people from Pakistan have got Indian citizenship in this year till 17th September. And now to end the news, here the main points again. Nagaland State BJP endorses passage of agriculture bills. NPF says Nagaland Lokayukta's report shows poor state of affairs in the entire government machinery. Nagaland government nominates Robila Domo as member of Delimitation Commission in respect to Nagaland state. And Nagaland reports 93 fresh cases of COVID-19 and 223 recoveries. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.